The weather team has some new data tonight illustrating how tame of a winter we had. January was actually the ninth warmest on record, followed by February being the sixth warmest. March was pretty normal. April has been nice and warm so far as well. And that warm winter probably felt like a blessing, but it could also mm. now mean some trouble. Yeah, before you get too comfortable in the warmer temperatures, beware. News 4's Caroline Hecker explains why some creepy crawly critters are out in full force way ahead of schedule. With it being this warm so early in April, it's caused for a lot of people to want to be outside. But while we've heated up rather quickly, the warm up has also welcomed some unwanted guests into our lives. Thank you for calling Rottler. This is Chad. How can I help you? The phone lines are busy at Rottler Pest Solutions in St. Louis. Are they swarming around the gutters and the eaves of the home? Homeowners are seeing pests much earlier than in years past as a mild winter kept many insects alive. When you have a real hard winter, you know, things freeze and it really kind of a lot of the workers and a lot of the different family members within the insect colonies die off. Calls for termites are beginning to come in. But you can then see the damage that the termites do. As are calls for stinging insects like wasps as well as moles. That first sustained, you know, 70, 80 degree week and, and everything kind of knows, hey, it's, it's spring, let's go. As calls for pests are on the rise, so are the number of allergy sufferers heading to the doctor's office. The two biggies right now are going to be maple and oak. Um, and the, this looks like, from the standpoint of the allergy sufferer, a bad season. The lack of a deep freeze this winter gave trees a longer growing season, leading to more pollen in the air. However, Dr. Wedner says this allergy season is actually delayed several weeks due to a cold snap in March. But he says that same snap not helping kill off any of the pollen. And I think that just kind of shifted everything and delayed it, but it didn't make it any better for the allergy sufferer. I spoke with both St. Charles and St. Louis counties, both of which tell me their plans for mosquito abatement in their county parks are on track. They said they kept an eye on the winter season that we had and the lack of a deep freeze. But at this point, their plans for spraying for mosquitoes will continue in mid-May. In St. Louis, Caroline Hecker, News 4. Volunteer.